Let me tell you, you don't need expensive machines to swap a tire, even if you're on the side of the road and don't have a spare. This is a skill I use quite a bit since I'm always picking up junk, um, I mean projects, that have oddball tires, oddball wheels. So I need the ability to swap stuff back and forth on the fly. This trailer was a recent auction purchase. It came with a flat tire free of charge. It wasn't the right size. I did have an extra tire, but I didn't have a wheel to fit. So I went ahead and swapped a new tire onto the wheel right there. Wasn't really the right size, but it was good enough to get me home. Now I went ahead and put the original tire back on so I can show you how to pull this tire and repair it. Now I'm only going to use the tools that I normally have with me. And just to make it a little bit more challenging today, it rained just enough to be 100% humidity. Well, first things first, let's lift the trailer with our farm jack. Now, this is my favorite way to lift a trailer since I don't have to crawl on the ground and try to shove the jack underneath the axle. Ooh, I got that feeling I can do this right. It's always my favorite jack. It's so much easier than climbing underneath it. Just for comparison's sake, I'm going to tell you, I live about 15 minutes from the tire shop one way. So if I was to take this to a tire shop, it's going to take me 30 minutes travel time and probably at least 20 minutes at the shop to get it fixed if there's no waiting. So I'm looking at 50 minutes to repair this once this is off the trailer. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to kind of throw up a timer and we're going to see how long it actually takes me to do this. So, this is just for fun. This isn't scientific. So, let's get this wheel off here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use an impact wrench here. I always carry one of these with me, but any lug wrench will do the job, obviously. You only need four. I only put, they put five on there just for fun of it. That way you have extras. Well, now that I got the tire off, I'm gonna grab my soapy water here and see if we can't find this leak. Well, that wasn't really hard to find the leak, considering it's spitting liquid up in the air. Let's go ahead and mark the leak real quick. And then go ahead and mark where the valve stem is at. It's not real important on the trailer tire like this, but it's a habit I like to stay in. That way, if you're working on another vehicle, you know, your regular tires, you can keep the balance the same. Yeah. Need to go ahead and get the valve core out of here, even though this thing's flat. You don't want any pressure in it when you're trying to get this bead off. Now, I like to use this bead breaking slide hammer. And sometimes you got to work it around pretty good, you know, or you don't. It normally takes a little bit more hits than that, but that, that's okay. I'm not going to turn down easy. But. What you do is you just usually stand on it and work your way around. In my case, I'm just going to work my way around, apparently. But if you notice, the tire is already coming loose as it works its way around. Yeah. That's how bead breaking slide hammer works. All right, well, now we're going to go ahead and get this tire off the rim. The easy way to do this is start out with these two tires. So I like to use this big black one, let it lay over and let gravity hold it. Then I just start working just a little bit at a time, taking small bites with the pointed end of the tool, this tool. And you notice that I, how I swing the tool each time because that brings it loose from the tire, just like that. And see, the front's already off. Now if I do this right, I can reach in with the black tool here. And I'll hook it and wrap over the top of the tire and it just literally lifts the wheel out of the tire. That's all there is to getting the tire off of a wheel. Now we just need to get this tire spun around here to where we can get to where the hole is. And I've got my little hand scraper here. I'm just going to scrape the inside of the tire to get it smooth. <coughs> that way the patch will stick good. 
Alright, well since this is a pretty big hole, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these plug patches right here. It's, kinda, it's a patch that has the tire plug on it with a little metal core that you can pull through real easy. So, I'm just going to put a bunch of cement on here and we'll put it in the tire first. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover the, pat, the plug patch with a bunch of cement. Alright, so now what we got here is you go and push the patch through and you got this little wire stuck out right here. You just take your pair of pliers and you pull and it sucks it right up tight. I'm going to get this good and snug. And right here is where I figured out I didn't know where my stitcher was. So instead of rolling it, the patch nice and firm, I'm going to go ahead and just use my thumb to push it down real hard. It's good enough, sort of. Alright, now I just need to trim this off. And this scraper is sharp enough. It does a pretty good job of that. Just kind of saw it back and forth. And there it is. It's ready to go down the road. Alright, we want to lube this up good because this isn't the time to start fighting this tire. It's going pretty easy. And a little lube never hurt your tire going on. Now, if you're skilled, you can just pop this back bead right on the wheel. You don't even have to use a tool. I'm not skilled. So I'm going to use a tool. This is where you use kind of the crooked end of the tool. But it goes on real easy with the tool. Now what you do is you got to get this front going. Just kind of get the bead popped under right here. And then you stand on it. And then you'll use your feet to hold the tire in place as you go ahead and get just little bites using the crooked end. Just little bites, you work your way around. Doesn't take a lot of effort. If you're having to put a lot of effort in it, you're not holding the tire tight enough with your feet. You're not pushing down enough with your feet. And right here you use, you're getting ready to use the pointed end right here and it will just pop the rest of the way over. And there, your tire is now back on the wheel. I just want to make sure it's still lined up with our mark on the valve stem. And since we're using a little 12 volt compressor, I'm just going to go ahead and put the valve core back in because flow is not really an issue on one of these compressors. So you're not going to seed it with a whole lot of power. All right, well, we'll get our air compressor hooked back up here. Yeah. Get it off the ground. Because you don't want to sit here and, and seat one of these tires with it on the ground. Because you can get grass caught up in it. And you'll have a bead leak for sure. Now, watch your fingers here. You definitely don't want to put them in this bead when it pops in. Now, I'm playing fast and loose with my fingers here. I'm not listening to my own advice. I'm trying to dig grass out that... I should turn the air compressor off for it. So, do as I say, don't do as I do. I'm surprised I still have my fingers some days. There goes the front bead. Now here, I, oh, I'm sticking my fingers way too close to that again. Oh, there it goes. Like I say, if you have your fingers in there, it's going to be a bad day. Alright, now we just need to get this tire back on the trailer. Pretty easy. Just got to get these lug nuts started. Now, you always want to be careful starting your lug nuts. Because you don't want to cross thread them and then use the impact driver to drive them on in. I know, it's nature's Loctite. They won't come loose if you cross thread them. But they also won't come loose if you need them off. Trust me. Been there. So... And I'll admit, the, one of the, the studs here gave me a little fit. And it wasn't going on very easy. And as you can tell, it's a little hot. And I'm getting a little wet. So, I may have been getting frustrated. Just 
go ahead and pop the jack. Let's lower the farm jack. And remember, always be careful when using one of these jacks because they can hurt you. And this one needs a little bit of WD-40 in it because I'm having to manually pop that lower pin every time. There it goes, released. Job looks finished. And I am hot. Well, 10 minutes, 47 seconds is not bad. I couldn't even make it to the tire shop in that amount of time. So remember, the next time somebody tells you you need a machine to change a tire, you just, you really just need simple tools and a little bit of work. It's not that hard. But if you're going to do this, I do recommend practicing at least once in your driveway. Since you really don't want to be your, your first experience be on the side of a busy highway. While not everybody needs this skill, it is one that's handy to have in your back pocket. And you're guaranteed to impress your friends if you need it one day. I've been hearing folks say you can't change a tire, no way But I'm here to show you I don't need no fancy display Bought this trailer at an auction, tire flat as can be But I got it home even though the fit wasn't meant to be Now I'm back at it, tools laid out on the ground Just what you'd have if your car is broken down It's hotter than purgatory today But I'm ready to roll Showing you the way I've got that twist and fix Inside my bones Beat like your tire irons No machine, I'm in the zone Air compressor pump And find that leap with soapy foam When I pass that hole You know we'll be heading home Ooh, I got that feeling I can do this right Even when the sun's blazing Hot and bright So just twist Watch me get it done You don't need a machine Just a little bit of fun Fun jack lifting up Get the tire in the air Wipe the valve stem Find the leak Handle it with care Beat like a slide hammer Making it a breeze Tire wires lifting it off Yeah, do it with ease Now it's time to patch that hole Plug it tight Scrape ring Glue it down Roll it out It's airtight Liberal with the tire soap Slip it back on slow Front beats tricky But I'm in the flow I've got that twist and fix inside my bones Speed breaker tire irons No machine, I'm in the zone Air compressor pump and find that leak with soapy foam When I pass that hole, you know we'll be heading home Ooh, I got that feeling, I can do this right Even when the sun's blazing hot and bright So just twist and fix, watch me get it done You don't need a machine, just a little bit of Stem lined up, compressor starts to hum Beat seats tight, yeah we're almost done Just don't do it on the grass or it'll leak slow Wiggle it around, air it up and then we'll go I've got that twist and fix inside my bones Beat brake tire irons, no machine, I'm in the zone Air compressor pump and find that leak with soapy foam When I pass that hole The job's complete. Even in the heat, I won't accept defeat. So just twist and fix. We're ready to hit the road. No machine required, just some knowledge to unload. 